Have we failed? The mother cut a pitiful picture. I wondered if I had been the mother, would I have been a picture of composure as she relayed to the whole, whole world the heinous crime that had befallen her daughter, referring to a viral video. The interview blew the scandal wide open, wide open and the viewing of the video skyrocketed. I was outraged. I wondered how 10 year olds could be involved in, well, for their age, such despicable acts. The mother must have been distraught as she referred to the contents of the video as rape of her daughter. The law would only prosecute the boys involved as participating in juvenile sex and send them off to some reform house. It was just 10 seconds that turned out to be 10 seconds too long for me. I didn't sleep that night. I was shocked by what I had watched and could not watch the rest of the 36 second video. These 10 year olds, I still find it hard to believe the ages of these children involved just as others do, were brazenly engaging in acts that are reserved for adults. I was deeply hurt as I watched this 10 year old child engage in acts that will haunt her spirit, her soul, her self worth, and much more if she ever understood the import of what she had done. I wondered painfully what had happened in her childhood that made her not made her think that she was of no worth, dignity, value, and that what she was engaged in, including having it filmed, was worthy of good viewing. It hurt to think that she had once more been filled by the adults in her life, as her mother told the world an untruth and exposed the fact that she had been left to her devices for too long, that someone had groomed her to the point that her innocence had been cruelly taken away from her. The mother's media mishap, led to self-appointed investigators to dig and they found the girl on social media with a healthy following as she seductively gyrated her way into more and more followers. The final tragedy was when she released a statement asking for forgiveness, that is the girl, and announcing that she will be off social media for some while. <laughs> they say that there's always a silver lining in bad situations if you look for it. If the mother had not made that video, crying rape, and people had not watched it and debunked the rape story, what would have happened to the boys? Really, what would have happened to the boys? What will happen? Who failed this girl? Have we failed our children? Can we find our way back home? If yes, how soon? When this happens again, because oh boy, it will, will we be ready to help these children psychologically, emotionally, physically, and spiritually? who have been caught up in the wickedness of adults. As it is, there is no playbook to deal with the aftermath of such devastation. Okay, over to you guys. May I have said my mind? <laughs> I did. Yeah, you see, <laughs> well, we, well, Nigeria has one problem, and that okay. is the failure... Among the many. Among the many. But I mean, I, I, I believe if we can tackle this singular problem, a lot of other things will fall in place. And that's the failure of the community, okay. community leadership. Mm -hmm. You see, when we were growing up, I, I tell people, I mean, and let me link this to all the corruption and everything we speak about in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. When we were growing up, I tell people that, listen, corruption has always existed, not just in Nigeria, everywhere in the world. People have always embezzled. But they had this concern that if I go back home mm -hmm. or my name yeah. is mentioned, how will the guys in my community treat me? Mm -hmm. You see, there's that self-worth, that camaraderie, that togetherness that mm -hmm. is missing now. It is... Parents need to look for food, like we say. Yes. We need to go to work. But in your absence, is that uncle an uncle? Mm. Just after this, I mean, after this incident that we're talking about, a few, about last week there about, I was taking a walk down my my estates and I saw this guy, he should be in his 30s or late 20s. There was this school that was having their entire sport, so they were using a field next door and because of that the students were all walking, some were walking and stuff. And there's these girls, they were clad, they were wearing sportswear, not tights, but they were young girls, maybe 15 or so. And this guy that was walking ahead of me walked for about 20 feet or so about 50 yards let's say. And all he did was look back and stare at the girls. And that is somebody's uncle. 
Yeah. Mm. Uh, it, it, it's just messed up. The yeah. community now, so many things are wrong. Absolutely. I mean, to, to answer your question, comfort, I mean, the yeah. simple answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, answer the yeah, question. We have, yeah. we have failed. We have all failed. Mm. And you know, um, I had this conversation with my wife. It was, I mean, even just thinking about it now, it still breaks my heart. I didn't watch those videos. Mm. I didn't watch any of those I'm things. I, I couldn't get myself to. I mean, I have an eight year old. I mean, she'll be 10 in two years. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'll close my eyes, she'll be 10. So, I mean, I couldn't bring myself to watch. But, but, you know, I remember a phrase growing up. This is why I say we're failed. The answer is yes. You know, when we're going mm -hmm. to school or going there, our parents will say to us, remember the child of who you yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember the child of who you are. You know, just that, that sentence, that phrase was enough mm -hmm. to keep you because in check. All they were saying to you is, yes. as you leave this house, Remember yeah. everything we have taught you. Mm -hmm. Remember the values. Mm -hmm. Remember the discipline. Mm -hmm. Remember the things we have taught you. How many of us parents today, parents, guardians, uncles, aunts, can say that confidently to our children as they go out? Remember the yeah. son of who you are. Remember the daughter of who you are. The reason is simple. We haven't taught them any what have we taught them? We haven't taught them anything. Yeah, personally I the think. Thing I've done is, like, sorry, the only yeah. thing I've done is expose them to YouTube, TV, mm -hmm. yeah. and the madness of the Get them world. busy while have you do your search yourself. Kept them busy. We've shacked in our responsibilities. Mm. It's really that simple. God bless you. And because we have shacked in our responsibilities, we must go back and pick up those responsibilities mm -hmm. and just do the right thing. It's as simple as that. And let me just yeah. add where you're saying that yeah. the reason they can't tell the kids to remember the son of who they are. Is because they don't even remember the child of who they are. They don't exactly. even reflect. They exactly. don't reflect what they want mm -hmm. their children to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. Can I say to my daughter, act the way exactly the way what I act I when do. you go out? Mm -hmm. Can you say to your son, mm -hmm. when you go out, act the way you see your father act? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's what it means when you say remember no, but, the child of who but, you are. Uh, because they painted a picture. Yes. They gave us something to look up to. Yeah. Do we still have those kind of parents? No, that that's yeah, old school now. You can't be doing no. That's that's the way. No, that's the way it's branded. I'm not agreeing with it. I'm just telling you when you dare say that outside, yeah. that's sorry. Old <laughs> so there's so much on my mind. Yeah, there's, there's so much so on my mind. Um, talking about have we failed? Yes, we have failed. Now you know while growing up, you know we had mothers that really we had mothers and fathers really not just about mothers mm -hmm. now because mm -hmm. these days we need to realize that parenting is joint effort mm -hmm. not just the mother or just the father mm -hmm. so while growing up we had our mothers you know teach us certain things you know it was just automatic it was you just get to is well, grow into I, I tell it. people the kind of secondary school i went to and people ask me how are you a good girl like oh wait because a lot of ladies in my school were smoking but i didn't smoke now it goes back to your you know kind of foundation yeah, i had Absolutely. yes my mom never told me don't smoke but i just knew <laughs> that it was not something that i should do you know it just knew that it wasn't something i should do yeah. and now these days um we, we have the the internet like you mentioned youtube and all of that so while growing up i remember um i, I never watched cartoons i think i watched super ted and mm. maybe Voltron. You can pretty much say what yeah, year yes, you were born. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, so, or Sesame Street, you know. Yeah. So yeah. There was really no, you know, and these days, even cartoons need, you need to watch cartoons. Like, Before you I was watching a cartoon watch on, I was even working, I was, I was at home, I was working on my laptop and my kids were watching TV. And I just saw that the cartoon they were watching on Disney Junior, they actually kissed. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, what well, did I? A, yeah, I was surprised so because big, I don't even so watch big. cartoons. They're doing, they're doing way worse things yeah, now. Yeah, and they yeah. kissed. And you know, yeah. these days, you see, when you're watching cartoons, you hear things like, I'm gay. Are you gay? Yeah. As yeah. They're excited yeah. Yeah. about being gay. Yeah. They're excited yeah. about being yeah. lesbians. Yeah. And even this lady, yeah. there's this um, Nickelodeon um, program, um, this popular Nickelodeon program. Uh, she's a superstar. She's one of the stars of Nickelodeon. She went online to say yeah. she's now part of the yeah, LGBT, the LGBT yeah, community yeah. and yeah. that she would really, really like... Anna Montana, isn't it? Yes, exactly, Anna yeah. Montana. And, you know, I was so disappointed. Like, a lot of young girls today in Nigeria, 13, 14, <laughs> look up to this girl. Like, Anna Montana is our role yeah, model. Yeah, no. So, you now see somebody like that telling you that being gay, being lesbian is a beautiful thing. It's the, in fact, she, has, she expressed it with so much joy that her life has changed and she's been so happy with the, with the new face of her life. And you know, you're looking at her like, are you normal? Well, are you okay? You life? We, don't, you know? we, don't know what, so, we don't know what Plus TV stand is on you know, these issues, well. however, because yes. but clearly the media has an agenda. Exactly. And it's very clear. You know, the agenda is, oh, yes. is very clear. Oh, yes. It's now a question of you as a parent, parents, or you as a guardian, or you that has been put 
in charge of you know yeah. a child to determine what you want for your child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to tell you what to tell your own child. Of course. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm but saying? But monitoring but your values. I can tell you what I can tell my child what you know what mm -hmm. she should do, what she shouldn't do. You know, I expect that, like you said, and without having been told comfort is gone. Let me not even get started. <laughs> and you see, and, and, and you see, um, so that just you know to run it up. As you said, it, it, the parenting had never been taken away. We mm. just became, as you said, we, we just lost it. Mm. And we lost it because we, one thing, we're following what is it? Money. That's the truth. Yes. It's the issue of money. And because we want to go to those places where the shoe and travel, look, slay, look, everything, we sacrifice the children on, on that altar. Parenting had always been between, had always been. I don't know where the narrative is coming that uh, we are leaving um, parenting to the mothers. It was supporting. Women are, are the ones who are at the primary, whatever we, we, we can fight it all we want, but women are the ones that are endowed to nurture. What the man will do is you will do the nurturing when it is time for the the, the big gun to come in, you go to the father. The mm. Yeah, so we balance, yeah, balance, balance it out. Yeah. yeah, the balanced approach. To it. It. Yeah, father, fathers had the ah, is it not a children that will say that they knew that they could not sit in head and made it look as if parenting is one new or whatever? Both parents have been involved. It's just that because the world has decided that we, we, um, we um, all of us should just come out and leave the children at home, um, um, and men too are shaking their responsibilities. Number three, this issue of technology is a monster. I don't understand why we just decided to to outsource our children to TV, mm. tablets iPhone, you actually hear parents give us what do you want me to do? It's the world, it's, mm. it is, it's, it's where they should be. At all. I don't understand that. As you said, how many we were controlled, even TV when we were growing exactly. up, yeah. because parents knew that you needed to read, you had out to and play, you, you needed to socialize, and it wasn't TV. Yeah. We had the time, we had set times. Why did we leave such a monster that is even controlling us adults in the hands of these children? The mother in this case is who I want to flog because she had no idea what was going on with this girl. And it was I, I know if you continue. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. All right. Yeah. So may God help. I don't know whether it's may God help all of us or what, whatever. May anyway. Uh, up next, Shola. Stay with us. <laughs>